Hello. Are you going to do it? I was, I was going to, but then you jump. You oh, go. Right. It's fine. It's good. I'll take, I'll take a load off. Hello and welcome to Dragon Tavern, uh, the show where we talk about D and D stuff. Yeah, so we kind of mainly NPCs is all critical role. This is anything tabletop and Dungeons and Dragons, and we are here today talking about the wonderful comic book that uh, Dave Rack-wings. got me into. Requiems. I'm going to put it on. I don't want to hold this up too long. So, so I'll be up there. As with like this type of review, we're going to do like a general section at the start, yeah. and then we're going to throw up a spoilers tag for if you want to go out and read it yourselves so you don't ruin any of the story. Exactly. So we read volume one called Sass and Sorcery. And Sorcery. Sorcery. Yeah. I was sold just on the name, Sass and Sorcery. Sass and Sorcery. All about that. Of Rat Queens. Well, basically Rat Queens is a very D&D inspired um, kind of world, kind of story about four... A, a, basically a party called the Rat Queens about four um, youngish yeah I think they're young it becomes a young parent, adventurers like, yeah just okay. booze head they're, they're just amazing <laughs> it becomes really apparent like in the first I don't know three pages that it's it's a Dungeons and Dragons world yeah just on um, how, how they uh, meet and it's a Dungeons and Dragons inspired world but they're not like they're not exactly like gnomes and they can't say halflings yeah. and stuff like that. It's, I, not a, it's like not Wizards of the Coast, but it's it's that kind of fantasy setting. They call, uh, they call like Betty. Betty's one of the characters, a smidgen. Yeah. So the smidgen's like a gnome halfling? No, like, yeah, yeah. Is it I think gnome it's more or a gnome, halfling? I think it's more gnomish. She seems no, more gnomish than yeah, um, some halflings. Of that. Yeah. It's like a combina- It seems like a combination to me anyway. Yeah. Um, but I honestly think this, this comic is one of the most underrated comics out there. You definitely have to read it. If you like Dungeons and Dragons... You like like strong female characters, definitely. Yeah. Um, and also just love a good story. Now, Dave, Dave essentially said, uh, you're going to love this. Mm. And I have people say that to me all the time about a wide variety of stuff. Uh, people said that about The Wire. And I, I, said I, you, I, I said that about me. Yeah, <laughs> still hasn't happened. Yeah, I, I didn't get into the wire, but no, <laughs> he was right. Uh, Rat Queens is absolutely fantastic. I love the art style. I yeah. love the, the 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 style of the comedy is very dear and near to my heart. It's mm. fantastic, and I like that it kind of breaks the rules and and what you can talk about and also yeah, breaks the definitely. rules and like who protagonists should be. Yeah, I mean they openly do drugs. Yeah, and they're openly just like not good not the kind of good people but they're also kind of dicks yeah they yeah. are dicks I yeah. mean the, the, the reason why the story happens is because, because they're they dicks, dicks. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but we should give the credit we'll give credit yes, so the story is done by Curtis J. Wild will be will be every time we have you doing the names and every time you let me <laughs> um, the art is Rock Up Church yeah um, letters Ed Bristol Bristol. I love. Bristol? I actually love the lettering work in this uh, mm. because when they're doing like Elvish spell. Why, why are you doing that? What the hood thing? I always just thought it would be an interesting visual element. No, um, it's just, <laughs> it seems more annoying. I love the lettering in this because when they're doing like ancient spells and stuff, the font changes to this beautiful typography, um, which is just a nice little element. Hmm. And uh, edits by Laura Trevor Trevor he. I put the names up obviously. Yeah, like, we don't need to say them. We yeah, read them. and I'll put the links to all their work down below because you should always support people like this. Yeah. Um, and I honestly like overall because we're doing a very non-spoiler section part of this bit right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, to be honest, you like that D and D. You like strong female characters. You just like sex, nudity, and death. This um, maybe not nudity. That doesn't have nudity in this. But you you like a you like a show that uh, a story that can kick down the door, come into your house, and be like, I'm gonna fucking entertain you. Yeah. This is this, is, this is the story I do. So go on it. So I guess after all that out of the way of a very neutral way of talking about things, let's go to spoilers. I'll put the spoiler tag Bring there. Your, your I'll well, put it there. I'm putting it there. I feel like I should duck down a little bit. No, no. it's going to be right above your head. So we've done it. It's clear. It's right there. It's, it's, it's glaring at you. It's all neon and blinking. You, know, you can't blame us now because it's mm. you, fair warning. Yeah, exactly. So let's run through the cast. So we've got Hannah. Um, yes. She's a human mage. Um, she's, she's oh, what would, how would you describe Hannah? Do you remember which one's Hannah? No, no, no. I, I know the no, gnomish no. one is... I'll remind you because I got the book. So that, that's Betty. Betty, yeah. Hannah's that one. Oh, I liked her. Uh, yeah. She's yeah. that one. I'll, I'll put it up. She's I'll put very, up the image I'm cute. looking at. So. Cool. She's very, yeah. very cute. Um, yeah, she's like... She was part of a cult. Um, so yeah, she, right. She's pretty much just a very emo kind of ish esque kind of character. She's kind of like darkly sarcastic. Yeah. Um, and kind of takes no nonsense. Yes. Violet, the dwarven fighter. She's oh. cool. You don't see too much of her in the first. That's, issue. A, that's a very. That's a real butt shot. That's yeah, just that's like, a real this butt is shot. my butt. That's yeah. what my butt looks but like. But I did like that. She's got a lot of back history there. Um, there was a moment her, her brother shows up. Um, back, and back history. 
Because of the butt. Yes, the butt. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of history um, that she's, she, she, you know, she loves her brother, but the, the, something's happened that she can't kind of be family anymore. Oh, so yeah. like a, oh, like a Romeo and Juliet something? No, no, the brother and sisters. I know, without, without the love interest, like the split between the family. You, it's not like Romeo and Juliet went, mate. <laughs> I don't think you're... I, I think thought, you know the story I thought there. the complete works of Shakespeare. I still should. Uh, but myself. yeah, Violet's my favorite character, especially how she sleeps with Orc Dave at the end. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember oh, that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she gets with Orc Dave. Yes, there's a, a team. Oh, the four Daves. They're called the four Daves. Uh, awesome. Uh, and we've got so Betty. Um, she's the smidgen that we're talking about. I love her. She's my favorite. She's so a little rogue. Yeah. Rogue. And then we've got D. Yeah. Um, D is just uh, a bit of a goth. Yeah, but they're goth. So I think they all got that goth. A little bit. Um, anyway, so the story goes is that the the town is sick of them. <laughs> they're sick of all the parties just like fumbling around. They started they basically these groups started as like law peacekeepers, that yeah. kind of stuff, and they just got more renegade and more drunk on power, and they're just like, oh, fuck it, we're gonna lock you up, get in the cells, and look, we'll give you one chance. Yeah. If you can, if you can do some jobs for us without. Fucking shit up, we'll, we'll set you free. Pretty much, because they always get drunk and have brawls and they're sick of it. So the character called Sawyer assigns them um, to all different tasks. So yeah. um, there's there's all we get introduced to all these different teams. So we've got the Peaches, yeah. uh, which they're all just peach coloured guys. Um, lives up to the name. It's lives up to the name. We've got the Four Daves, yeah. best, I, best team in the world. I certainly and wouldn't do make you, one. Do you know why they're called the Four Daves? I'm going to go out on a limb yeah. and say there's four of them and they're called Dave. Yes, correct. That wow. was very deci- uh, detective work on you. I, sh- I could have been sure a lot. There's the Brother Ponies. Mm-hmm. They all have ponytails. <laughs> right. And the Obsidian <laughs> Darkness is apparently your favorite. My favorite people favorite in the whole first issue. Yeah, exactly. It's like you can be shit for the four days. I mean, you, <laughs> your characters are literally not even in the book. They know they do. They do one thing, which is clean toilets and die and die. Yeah, they do die. They clean toilets and die. I can I identify with that. And we've got the rat queens as well. Yes. So the rat queens are the the four characters one, of the story. One thing that really struck me, like the first thing that I, I thought of when I was reading this, was oh my god, having the party already be like like meeting each other. But just being like, oh, you guys are you guys are like in, in jail for for doing this. It's a great way to, to get a party to get like if you're running a one shot to get mm. a party together really quickly. It doesn't happen here, no, because they already know each other. But no, yeah, but I get in your terms point. of D&D, yeah. I was like, that's a really good way of writing it. Um, so basically, the rat queens are assigned um, as one of the tasks to prove their worth, basically to clear out some more goblins. Yeah, from so that'd cave. be like a level two, level three kind of quest in D and D. It's one of those very simple, go plan, kill, come back. Basically, um, and so we kind of um, we kind of follow some of the um, other parties of what they do. Um, so the Obsidian Dark Darkness get yeah. tasked to really clean some toilets, basically. Yeah. But then they all get mysteriously killed. And uh, yes, uh, and oh, that's another great thing about this. The gore is like right up there. Yeah, the gore. It's graphic. Yeah, it's nice. It's like graphic. It. They don't fudge around with it, and that's why we, the, I love the artwork as well. It's no holes bars no, I mean throughout this entire time you get, you get the Rat Queen banter or they're pretty much just saying they're throwing you in the fucks they're talking about dr- getting too drunk and getting fucked up yeah taking it's, shrooms it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> shrooms yeah I yeah like they're it. talking about shrooms they really fuck shit up they're not, they're not messing around it's great yeah um, so basically the Rat Queens are, are about to kind of clear out the uh, the cave and there's a big uh, then they meet an assassin that's Is it like kill? Was it the peaches that were like, "Good luck cleaning the goblin poo off your shoes"? Or yeah, like breaking in the goblin. They don't get along with the, uh, with with them. I like that with the peaches very well because they're kind of like their rivals. That's like Ash and Gary. Yeah, basically it's the, the Ash and Gary, the equivalent of Ash and Gary. I like that. Um, so the Rat Queens go to go to clear out the cave, and then there's a big goblin. I love it when um, uh, Betty is like, "No, nope, no traps, just a pair of boots." Yeah. Attached to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's very kind of self-aware. I like that. Yeah. I also, um, one of my favorite things about it is the fact that the humor is very, very varied. Mm. Uh, you've got like dark humor. You've got meta humor. You've got um, innocent humor. You've got, it's, ooh, yeah. It's all over. It's really, really well done. Mm. Um, so yeah, they, they, they're they about to get killed by this assassin dude. They take out the assassin and then there's an oh, ogre guy there as well, yeah. which they kill as well. So they, they do a really good job. Uh, I think Violet gets, da- uh, gets, gets hurt in this whole thing. I think it's Violet or D. Someone gets hurt during this one and that's why they kind of run off and try and get help and they end up walking to the peaches who have just been attacked by their own assassin. So it looks like someone's trying to take out all the parties. Yeah. Um, so the Peaches are going to assassin. Half their squad has been wiped out. And the last one left is, I think there was a, there was a half a orc. There was a half orc female and then their, their leader, who's kind of a smart ass. Another thing I really like about this is the artwork itself. It's not just beautiful and it's got that kind of 
sketchy element to it, but there's a lot of rule breaking in terms of swords coming right out of the frame and going over the borders and and the characters kind of stepping between frames and, and, and the, the angles of some of the shots. Like, you don't just have side views and stuff. You've got, like, looking from the corners of the room. And yeah, like, ah, it's, it's very good at very good angles. Yeah. So basically, once once the Rat Queens kind of turn up and kind of save the rest of the Peaches from their own assassin, they go back to the town, they kind of work out, someone's trying to take them all out. Um, then they see the four Daves arrive, just because they arrived and then realized they survived and <laughs> they, they got away from their assassin too. Um, and then after some time, they kind of work out that someone's trying to assassinate them, someone's trying to kill them, mm. and they determine it's all, uh, it's uh, the Merchant Guild. Um, but then they find evidence that it's not the Merchant's Guild. Um, it actually turns out to be Old Lady Burnette, Burnette uh, who turns out trying to kill them. Um, and she's pissed off because they're the ones that keep on wrecking her her um, bar, her tavern, yeah, and that's the reason why she wants to try and kill all the all the other uh, all the groups all because the parties. they keep on wrecking her her place, which is understandable <laughs> because that's why this whole thing is their fault essentially. Yeah, um, and then after after that kind of happens and they kind of work it all out, their town gets attacked by the the ogre's girlfriend who's pissed <laughs> off of this whole thing, and the rap queens decide to do something good and say, hey, that we caused this problem, let's go try and save the town. Things don't go well for them. Violet gets injured during it. Then the four days show up and save the day. <laughs> and there's also Gary who's on the wall who kind of fucked up everything because he told the girlfriend about the ogre. Question. Have you ever read any Jean and Vasquez? No. So he's the guy that does Invadism. No. Uh, but he also did a series of graphic novels. His style of drawing aliens reminds me of the same style of this person drawing monsters and creatures. Oh, yeah. I just think they get a real kick out of drawing something grotesque and complex uh, and kind of beautiful in an ugly sort of way. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Strange parallel. I, I've never s- seen them Sims. So uh, I've got pretty much the complete collection if you want to borrow it. I don't. <laughs> no. I actually got the, the, the hard covers and it does not know, interest hundreds me at of all. dollars. And... It does not interest me at all. Sorry. I, I, I've, I've tried to get into <laughs> it. No. Never. Well, John, John of the Homicidal Maniac started mm. that. Anyway, yes. And as a twist at the end of this, it turns out it was the Merchant's Guild. Uh, the Merchant Guild actually gave the money to old, old Lady Burnett to, hi- to hire the assassins. And yeah, it turns out the Merchant Guild's got something going on and mm. wants to get rid of the Rat Queens. Oh. And there's a lot of nuggets of back history throughout the entire thing, and I really loved it. The colours is another really cool thing. Uh, you've got like individual little subsets of colours that work really well together. There's little mini palettes within the different scenes. Um, love it. Really and, cool. and Violet sleeps with Ogre Dave. Sure. Orc Dave yeah. at the end. And she's like, I just want to get fucked up, get drunk, and have sex with Orc Dave, and I don't care the order. And I think that's the best line in the entire <laughs> one. And I'm gonna be in the I'm gonna be the fifth Dave. Sure. It's gonna happen. There's a few there's a few hurdles and that, that's name fi- one hurdle. That that's fiction and this is reality. Wow, you're the one. You're the one <laughs> using the one, that line. Yes, yeah, I'm the one defining the. Difference. Really, are you the one in reality this yeah, time? Makes sense, right? Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a really good comment. You guys should watch it, and, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so go and if you haven't check it out, and if you haven't read all of it, go read all of it. And if you read all of it, then go watch mm. some Master Chef. Yeah, and if you enjoyed this review, make sure you subscribe. If you do want to uh, have us. Um, look at volume two yeah. of Rat Queens because there's a lot of lot of history, a lot of groundwork here. It's quite hard to see, really sink your teeth in it. It's very uh, introductory um, volume of the Rat Queens, but um, with just little back stories yeah. here and there. So it'll be interesting to see what it, what it becomes going forward. Um, but if you've got any opinions about it, leave a comment down below and let us know. Also, last time we did a block of filming, uh, my, my girlfriend Julia was here and she read it. She said she loved it. Mm. Um, so that's always cool and also if there's anything that we haven't covered and you're like hey I can't believe you've never seen this D&D movie or if I can't believe you've never read this then tell us and we might find it and review it um, probably do because we get run out real ideas sometimes that's true so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway uh, thanks, thanks for watching have a good day yeah and you've See, that? I think it's weird because I don't think I read all of it because there was a couple of things at the end there that that I didn't know about. You didn't know about Violet one and how many pa- yeah, how many pages was it? Was it cause I, I had thirty one pages. It's literally right here. Because I got thirty one pages and then that it ended on my copy that I had. So, to see, that see, none of this happened in the one this that I was reading. But is that the whole volume? Yeah, it's the whole volume. I was reading the wrong thing. Then. Well, that's all mine. Right. Ended like there. Okay. <laughs>